Okay, Amy, uh, this is Dennis Clark, the Golf Pro, and I'm going to review your lesson from today. You did amazingly well. And uh, <clears throat> the thing that was uh, the biggest advance for you is the weird, what we call your posture, what some people might think of as stance, right? Um, you were just, you said it felt like the clubs weren't, I uh, think you said like um, the clubs weren't long enough or it feels like I'm too bent over. Well, that's because you were. And uh, if you look at the angle of your upper body here, it's only, you know, a 45 degree tilt from the uh, waist. Uh, the golf club is uh, or the arms are not hanging below the shoulders. And there's a lot of uh, room between your body and your arms. So, you know, the further you stand naturally, the more you have to bend over. And then when we got that corrected, um, you look like a golfer. So the big key here is to keep your arms connected to your body. They should hang down anatomically like they are, or like they're made, which is below your shoulders. Anything else would be considered reaching. And you can see how much less daylight there is in here than in here. And that's key to, to balance uh, and just uh, consistent contact. So your position on the right is really good. And position on the left is where we started. So let's keep that in mind because as I tried to explain during the lesson, the two things that I stressed more than anything today were your grip and your posture. And there are two of the three biggies the other is aim and for new players what i suggest always is that you put a stick or a club on the ground as as we're doing here and uh, you kind of um let's see if i can draw a straight line for you you know you well let, you point it anywhere wherever your target is and you you lay it right outside the ball and then you do your level best to get parallel to it. Golf is a game of railroad tracks, right? So the ball track, the ball flight is on one track, and you're on the other side of the tracks. Um, and so, without without the aid of without w without the aid of uh, uh, alignment rod or a club laying on the ground. It, Simplest thing to do is you always have a club with you. If you don't have one of these aim sticks, these aim sticks, when you do get your own bag, they come, you know, you could buy them like a pack of three for $10 or something. But most courses have them where you, where you stop by to hit balls. Uh, it's the best way for a new player to get started. So you have grip, aim, posture. Acronym for it we have is GAP. Okay. And um, that looks much, much better there, huh? So the grip is something that it'll take a while to get used to because there's nothing else, um, nothing else in, in, in your life really that you hold uh, like a golf club. It's very unique. And you mentioned the interlock, which is the what I call the eight finger grip, the nine finger grip being the overlap or the ten finger. There's nothing wrong in starting out with what we call the baseball grip or all ten fingers. They're all preferences. But what is a principle of the grip is that the uh, left hand is turned slightly to the right. So that left thumb goes a little bit on the side of the club. Okay. And that little V in your hand, I call it a V between your index knuckle and your thumb, it should point to your right shoulder and then your right hand wraps right around that. So those are, you know, those are the building blocks of golf. And if you say I choose to play once a year in a scramble with my um, office mates or every day as a competitive player, it would still start there. Both places have the same starting point, grip, aim, and posture. Okay. Then we, we looked at the dynamics of your swing a little bit. And one of the first things that would be a natural instinct to do when you're that bent over is to stand up. All right. So you can see where you're beginning here. Now, remember, think about this logically. The ball's on the ground, right? And the player's up in the air. It's only 1.6 inches in diameter. So you don't have to come out of your position very much to to be aiming a 
So if you see that much left heel left, that would be a great habit to break early on. I wouldn't mind a little bit of it if it helped you turn, but you're plenty supple enough to turn your rotate your body without lifting your left heel. Because you, right now, if you look at the top of your cap there, you're a good four, five inches, six inches above where you started. And this being only 1.6 inches in diameter, your chances of hitting it are hit and miss because uh, you're out of position, right? So the best players, as I've pointed out, um, really are able to rotate the body without um, where did it go hold on I'll be back I'm here in Cyberland looking for uh, my swings here Hold on just a second. I'll be right back on the, you'll see the video in just a second. Um, this is when we, uh, where, where we left off. Uh, the ability to rotate. Now, the body has to make a rotation, right? It turns this way, kind of the uh, chest face, facing the camera in the backswing and then the seat facing the camera in the downswing. So you have to rotate the body, turn your torso, turn the uh, lower body, but you can never, you have to maintain your position while you do it. So what I was about to show you there is what that might look like. And we'll pick out a model. Well, it's, it, it's a little far away and the camera line's a little bit off, but this is uh, the great uh, player, uh, female player from Hawaii, Michelle Wee, you might have heard that name. But really, I could, I could pretty much take anyone, you know. Um, there's a male professional. You, you get the you get the point here. So uh, the uh, other way of looking at this, so that you could when you watch golf on television, these little things to look for are key. Um, so here you see Connie Chang from the uh, LPGA Tour, and oops, my bad. Um, You see the angles of her body at the um, start, the address we call it, and at the top, very similar, very, very similar. So when you get your, your body like this, naturally you can't hit it from there. So you'll try to do your level best to lose that angle. And now you're kind of up like this. See the difference? That is of all, and I've been teaching golf for a very long time, and of all the new players I've ever worked with, that's the most common habit, getting the club to what we call the top of the swing position uh, in, a, in a position where you can, can consistently make contact. And when you did that today, uh, you really made great contact. That's why I say you're, you're blessed with good um, eye-hand skills and coordination and things that you'll need eventually to play this game. A lot of non-golfers think the game is an athletic, but it's probably the most athletic game that I know of. Um, this was a little bit later when we started in a little better position here. And even though that's a little bit up, look how much better it is. I mean, it really is good. In one in one lesson, look at your uh, look how much less you've straightened. So. You know, there's the ABC of this, Amy, and it works like this. A is the setup with the grip aim posture. B would be the backswing, getting you to the top in a position to make a hit. And then C is the downswing, which I didn't do much of uh, with you today, but you eventually want to get there. I'm assuming you want to take this up kind of for a hobby. 
And I would suggest, you know, on those building blocks, right alone, look at the, look at the amount of progress in one hour. And uh, you did really well. So um, as you come down, then you, the arms kind of forwards. I'm going to work with you a little bit on this tomorrow. I'm glad you're doing this. And this club is out of position coming down, and I'll show you what I mean by out of position tomorrow. But uh, we don't want to go with, you know, too many things at once. This has to, club has to get a little better angle. Has to be a little more inside and that type of thing. But I don't. I think that's plenty for now. I think you got it. And um, yeah, we're going to teach you to not pick up your not keep your head down tomorrow uh, because when you do it too long uh, you, you want to look at it until you hit it but then you want to follow it a so you can enjoy it and b um, because it, it creates other problems when your head stays down too long so let's let that be for now okay uh, that was a great start and I will see you tomorrow I believe at 10 o'clock okay I mean, nice to meet you and good working with you